So you, you open this business and there's a, there's a spectrum of manufacturing capabilities there. Uh, um, um, uh, pretty significant CNC machining capability. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't a given that the opportunities that would come to you are additive, but those kind of opportunities have come. And as you say, you tried not to be Morris Technologies 2.0. Um, those opportunities have come probably partly because of your reputation, but also kind of because what you started to hint at there, which is all the other capabilities you have in addition to additive. So I guess talk about that a little bit. How important is it and how um, um, helpful, reassuring, comforting is it to the customer to, who's got an additive part but also sees all this other stuff that you can also do under the same roof? A lot has changed from when I was actively involved day to day at Morris Tech to where we are today at Vertex. But one constant has remained, and that is that I think uh, having a broader capability to bring to customers, not just, hey, I grow apart and I can do some basic machining, I think having that, that broader palette to, to be able to pull from and say, I can take care of all that post in uh, machining or finishing or inspection um, is pretty important. Now, to some degree, and I still think this is the case, it was the case before, it's the case today, a lot of that can become pretty transparent. So it's not always something that people would, would associate when they send a print, if you will, or a file and say, I need this to these dimensions and with all the specs, uh, it's not always apparent what the multiple steps might be. So, and it also depends on the type of work. We're involved in a lot of development in R&D, although we do certainly uh, want to and are involved in production, higher volume production stuff as well. So uh, I, I think it really depends on the type of work that we're doing uh, as to how much you, you dip into some of those specialty processes. For instance, if you're, uh, I'll use an example of a, a high pressure turbine blade and you wanna grow it, um, in fact, picture of one on the screen. If you wanna grow that high pressure turbine blade and you wanna get those air passages opened up because you have a certain flow that's on the print, you're probably going to need to extrude hone to open those passages up. There's, there's ways to do it, but the, the extrude hone would be a good option. So if you're doing that, uh, you have to have that specialized piece of equipment or find somebody on the outside that has it. And that's difficult uh, for some of these. So I would say most people would say, just deliver it with the flow that I need. And we take care of trying to figure all that out. Okay, so I, I guess I asked the question in terms of does the range of capabilities bring comfort to the customer, and it's not exactly that. It's more that they are apt to present you with this challenging thing, and they don't know where the challenges are, and there's more you can say yes to pretty confidently because of the range of capabilities. I think that's a fair statement. So, you know, clearly, um, you know, we, we've lived a lot of those challenges of how do you just handle from build to final part, and there are many, many steps as most everybody who's involved in the industry recognize. So that's not just the build and successful build and trying to make sure you don't have issues, it's the post-thermal processing, it's the support removal, it's the post-machining, it's the post-surface finishing, it's the post-inspection. So yeah, I think uh, you know having all that under roof is very helpful, but sometimes people get that and many times they don't. And I think that's one of the, the, the still today, one of the items that uh, is a little surprising is that not everybody fully grasps and understands the depth of what you might have to do in order to successfully produce a part, which you would think at this point, maybe that would be there, but you know, it, it just hasn't totally filtered down.